Hello everyone. So today I will be testing Apis Security. I hope I'm not butchering the name. Yeah, Apis, they make an Android launcher. Well, they make a security app too. So let's take a look at it. It'll launch. And we get an ad right off the bat. I think you can, oh, there's another ad. You know, they could integrate those a little more seamlessly, but not the worst I've seen. So we have a button that says risky, never scanned. And I assume you just click on it to scan. I'm not going to do that. And we have junk files. This cleans up junk files, I assume. Yep, I'm not granting it any permissions right now. We have a memory boost. Is this like a task killer? Yes, it is. We have a call blocker. Now, this doesn't work on newer versions of Android, and I'm not going to allow that. Yeah, not right now. We have a full scan, which will scan all of the files on the SD card. I will be saving that for later. We have a CPU cooler. Now this is kind of shady because, well, you can't really cool down a CPU, especially by that much. Wow. Yeah, that is misleading. You can't really cool down a CPU using a task killer. So, not a fan of that. We have a battery saver. I assume this is... Okay. So it froze all of the apps that deems it will drain battery. We have whatever this is. Oh, it's an app lock, which will allow you to lock your apps. And what do we have here? Okay, so a little bit more. We have our protection level, which is medium. Okay, so it's just giving me suggestions on how to make APIS security more secure or secu rather secure your device better. We have privacy protection. Uh, okay, don't know really what this is. Oh, it's suggestions, never mind. We have a notification cleaner. Okay, this is kind of cool. Don't really know how this ties into security. But, okay then. We have an app lock, we already looked at that. We have message security. Okay, so this censors your messages on your lock screen or maybe on your notification bar, I'm not sure. Uh, what else do we have here? We have CPU cooler, we have an advanced junk clean. We have a caller assistant and block, we already took a look at that. We have safe browsing. This blocks, oh, it blocks ads. Okay. And what else do we have here? We have full scan. We have Wi-Fi security. Okay, so this scans for security risks. So I suppose this is nice to have. Oh, this is not good. Uh, yeah. I might have to make a video on this later, because this is just not acceptable. Not acceptable at all. This is, this is deceptive, and I believe it might be illegal in the United States. I'm not so sure about other countries, but, oh, that's not even how you close it. Not great. Let's see, what else do we have here? We have a risk reminder, we have a virus definition update. Might as well. Oh, great, so this is, okay, so this is great. So I can't really give it a fair chance. Well, I'm still gonna make a video on it. I'm still going to see what I can do, but um, yeah. Until Apis fixes that, I can't really give it a fair, um, rating. Whatever. We have desktop shortcuts that'll create 
shortcuts on the desktop for various functions, I assume. We have an updater. What does this do? Checking for update. Oh, we have the latest version. Well, I would expect that since I got this from the Play Store. We have like us on, well, whatever this is. Oh, it's going to open up their Facebook. Okay. And let's go back to this. Let's see, what other stuff do we have? We have feedback and we have settings. Now, once again, I have not changed any of these settings for the sake of keeping the test fair. Because I assume most people will not go into the settings and change anything. They will just use it as is. So we have received notifications, we have our notification settings, just notification controls, we have antivirus settings, don't know why this comes disabled, I think that may have been disabled in one of my other tests for a product. Let's see, we have a smart locker, a convenient screen locker. Okay, we have create shortcut on desktop, we have a memory boost ignore list, we have a way to change your unit of the CPU temperature, Celsius and Fahrenheit, we have a charging assistant, now if this is what I think it is, it's going to um, supposedly help with charging kind of deceptive based on what I've seen with other products but whatever and it probably has ads or have ads gonna fix your grammar there a little bit apis we have a call resistant um, it's again probably have ads pop-up call dialog up upload my mark data to help other users and feedback. Now we have our user agreement, our privacy policy, and the account privacy policy, and then about us. And this is what version we're using. Anyway, before I get the test underway, let me see if I can update this once more. Nope, I guess not, so... I guess I'm going to have to use the definitions that came with the product itself when I installed it. Now let me show you what we have. Regular viewers know that I have 103 malware samples, but for the new viewers I'll just go ahead and show you this. So you can see 103 samples. All these are malicious and some of them are fairly old, like coming up on 5 years old. Anyway. Let me open up APIS Security again and do a scan with full scan. And I will be right back when it's done. Alright, I'm back and the scan took about a minute, so not too fast, but not bad nevertheless. And we have 92 threats detected. And it appears like it just calls every one of these. Oh, malware. Okay. Not sure why where is capitalized, but whatever. So a lot of this is just same thing. Anyway, um, let's resolve all these issues. All right, delete. Okay, this may actually take a little while, so I will be right back once I'm done deleting all of these. Alright, I'm back, and that took a little while. I'm not sure what's the point of the Resolve All button, if it's just going to make me manually decide what to do for each threat, but whatever. So, let's see what we have left in the folder. So, we have 4, 8, 12 threats left. So, not bad. Not bad at all. I was expecting a lot worse from a company that makes Android launchers, but I was mistaken. So, this is not bad, as previously mentioned. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and have a great day.